Hey there, I'm Eric Proctor. I'm an artist based in the US, and today I'm going to show you how to draw a cute Grogu, otherwise known as Baby Yoda. So our first step is going to be creating a foundation for Baby Yoda's head. So I think the first thing we'll do is we'll draw a rectangle, but we're going to kind of round the sides just a little bit. And maybe just kind of give the top a little bit of a dome. So we're going to draw another rectangle, but this one's going to flare out towards the bottom because he's a little wider on the bottom than on the top. Create a cross down the center. And this is going to be the face and then create another cross that's kind of centerish, and that's just going to help us line up the eyes and the mouth and the nose. So go ahead and create like an almond shape for his eyes on both sides here, kind of in the center of each of these little halves. And then we're going to put a nose, not on that top line, but just kind of below it. And then for the mouth, do kind of like a frown but then turn up the edges. And I think that makes for a very cute mouth. The next step is to draw in some very, very big eyes. And then I like to give him some oversized ears. So think like cat ears, but much bigger and a little longer. So we'll put them on both sides of the head here. All right, now let's work on some details. I'm going to give him the little folds of the skin that comes down on the front of the ear and on a little bit of the bottoms. And then just a little bit of a worried expression, like he's almost up to no good. And then his jacket does kind of have like a overlap, almost kind of like a collar. So we're going to just kind of rough that in a little bit too. And for the hands, just draw maybe kind of like a little half triangle on both sides. And then a tiny little shape on the bottom. And those are just going to be his hands. And then he does have kind of like a little bit of a seam on the front of that jacket. So we'll just do a little bit of a, a button down there. And I'll add a couple of feet. First thing I'll do is I'll just kind of go ahead and line up everything. And this is where you can kind of put in a lot more detail. And if you are painting digitally, don't be afraid of taking some shortcuts. I like to just kind of get both eyes done like this so that I don't have to try to struggle to uh, undo my lines over and over. Now, I know that Baby Yoda is pretty wrinkly. I'm just going to just suggest a bit of that wrinkling and just a little bit of the detail here like how on the bit of the ears we'll just add a little bit he does have very baby like cheeks so we'll go ahead and round these out the top of the coat is a little fuzzy so i'm going to just add a little bit of the detail to that in the lines and then we can kind of add a little bit of more of the wrinkles in the coat because it is a little oversized for him for the hands we'll just kind of put a little bit of his fingers in there and his feet can just be really simple okay now that we have our lines we can turn off our draft layer I do think I want to add just a little bit of hair on the top of his head now that we have our lines done we can make a template on the bottom here so we can go ahead and color our baby Yoda in so I'm gonna use uh, the magic wand tool which helps me select everything that's blank on the outside but what I want is everything that's on the inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the inverse. I'm gonna make a new layer, and then I'm gonna fill that inverse part with a color fill. That way I can keep everything kind of underneath the lines here. And in Photoshop, I'm also gonna make what's known as a clipping layer, but you can also use a transparency lock in other programs. And this makes it so that anything that I now paint on this layer is kind of locked to that layer. Here is my Baby Yoda color palette, and I'm going to just go ahead and paint in all the areas here really quickly. So the fuzz on his jacket is a little lighter, and his jacket is kind of a brown color. And then for the eyes, I'm going to go straight to black. And then for the outside of the eyes, I'm just going to pick a white and kind of fill in that outside part. For the ears, they are kind of pink. So let's go ahead and put those in there. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of that pink and actually put it in his cheeks like he's got a little bit of a blush going. Oh, let's not forget the hands and the feet. 
Okay, from here you can add some shading, so anything that's just a little bit on an overhang, like this uh, fuzzy jacket part on the top, we can go ahead and put a shadow underneath it. And maybe just a little bit of that shadow coming down here as well. And then for his face, I'm gonna just add a little bit of the shadow right here between the eyes, right on those brows, and a little bit on the tips of his ears. And we'll go ahead and just add a little bit of a highlight to the top of his head. And then on a very top layer above all layers, I'm gonna go ahead and add just a bit of an eye shine to his eyes. And this is really gonna amp up the cuteness. And there you have it. Now here's where you can make it your own. For me, I like when things are a little painted looking, so I'm gonna up the shadows just a little bit. In my drawings, I also like to add a little bit of what's known as a kick light or a rim light, something to sort of accent one edge. I tend to use pink and purple a lot, so that's what I'm gonna do here. And then I also like to kind of fold my line art into the colors, so I'm going to use another layer just so that I can paint the lines themselves. And of course, I do like making things a little fuzzy, so I'm going to use my texture brush on a layer above the line art so I can kind of just put in a little bit of that fuzz and why not? Maybe his hair is kind of fuzzy up here too. But have fun with it. Make it your own. Add the details that you want. And there you go. A very cute Grogu or Baby Yoda.